everybody, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Universe Sandbox 2. Today we're going to be messing around a little bit. We're going to... What the heck is this? We're going to be throwing stuff at the Earth. And when I mean throwing stuff at Earth, I mean throwing stuff. Like, lots of stuff. We're going to launch everything we can. What is this? Okay, first... Okay, we're gonna we're gonna mess with this a bit. It's pretty far away from the solar system. Speed that up quite a bit. Let's see. See how everything's affected by a very large object outside. <laughs> everything's getting pulled out of orbit. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Alright, the game has glitched out. All right, we're going to create a new simulation. All right, let's go. So Sedna made way bigger than the sun does not work. All right, so here's the Earth. Look at that beautiful planet. I don't know why everything's covered in ice right here. It's pretty cold. All right, we're going to do tools. We're going to, where is it, launch. Let's start small. Let's start with the Pyram Great Pyramid of Giza right on North America wow that actually did quite a bit of damage what happens if I whoa okay uh... alright let's throw a Tesla let's go even smaller that did nothing alright um... pumpkins don't do anything all right, let's go minor. Random asteroid. And there goes <laughs> South Carolina, Florida. Let's speed it up. Let's see what happens from these impacts. Let them cool down. And the Earth is like suddenly way colder. Okay. We sent the Earth into the Ice Age by sending the Great Pyramid of Giza, two of them into the Earth, plus... A very small asteroid. Now, same size as the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. Well, that did nothing. Haley's Comet. Actually, wait, no, it was bigger than that because it was six miles, wasn't it? Let's do it like this. Though. Okay, so let's see what happens after sufficient time has passed. Apparently, nothing. That's dumb. Okay. Is there like... Seven hundred meters? I'm gonna be throwing things like massive at it. Jeez. Uh... Yeah, 85 kilometers, okay. Goodbye. Apparently that landed in Russia. Looks like it did nothing. Fine, we'll go with a bit bigger. Okay, there goes Spain. Alright, let's see what happens. Wow, the Earth is actually, like, really cold. Literally all of the land is just ice. I guess global warming's over. All right. Uh, what else we got? Tethys. Do we have anything that's not absolutely massive that's just gonna destroy it immediately? Oh, there we go. There's one. <laughs> okay, so that does nothing. All right. Those are some big moons. Um. Fine. Boom. Is any of 
just going to warm up the earth. This is just going to continue to cool it down. Okay, there's actually way more ice spreading now. The earth has gotten way colder. All right, let's Callisto. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's speed it way up. The Earth actually lost a huge portion of its mass. Oh. Let's see if we can make it more massive. Ooh, it's got like a ring forming around it. Now let's speed it way up. Thousands of years just for the stupid planet to get cooled down. What? <laughs> we made Earth yet again. Um, granted, it's like sideways. I don't know how that happened. But it's like different now. It's just a little bit more massive than it was before. It's actually stable, I think. Mostly stable. It's still cooling down at a very slow rate. Alright. And the rotation has gotten slower. Uh, Alright, let's start something bigger at Earth. Mercury. Oh my. Okay, speed it up. Okay, we need to like drop the temperature because I went way too far. Uh, let's go 20. How are the, co I mean, they're not really intact. Because, like, there's craters everywhere. The Earth is different. <laughs> North America is just all messed up. Okay. Uh, Venus. Oh. Oh, my. Fine. Mars. Right, what happens if we go, we take the temperature, and we're just like, nah, mate, we're not doing with that. All right. The earth is like all messed up. Okay. It's still kind of on fire. And Neptune. Okay, let's make Neptune more massive. Okay, well Neptune's like all messed up. Alright, let's make a new new simulation. Alright, so I'm gonna show you all now something that I've discovered. If you add like where are they? The really big stars. Where's UI Scooty? There it is. Go like this. It's really hard to add. it's it's a massive star. There, it's the biggest star that we know of, and so you gotta imagine that it's like actually really big. Beautiful. All right. Um, we're gonna do like this. We're gonna scroll way, way, way out. Alright, so let's do this. Uh, 
Uh oh. Oh yes. Oh. <laughs> and I glitched the game. All right, so we can't do that. We can make Mars habitable though. This is pretty easy. All you gotta do is add. Where are the minor objects? You gotta add like Pluto to it. I don't know why Mars like moves around. Pluto like got absorbed by Mars. This is what it would be like. Uh, moons. Let's go with this. Europa, because we need. All right. We need water. So. Let's. Let's increase the temperature to like 25. Okay, probably faster than minutes a second. Look, it's got it's a water world now. It's amazing. I mean, there's a, like a giant crater. What if, if I slow it down? That's a continent. It's got like clouds and stuff too. It looks pretty cool. There's some like islands. Some dark spots, some more islands, but now we have to add a lot of land. And there goes the atmosphere. All right. Um, well, Mars just threw away all of its stuff. That sucks. That's actually pretty cool. Whoa, okay, so I made a new thing. Look at that. I'm gonna save this object. We're gonna save object as Mars. Mars Oceans. All right. Now, as you expect, like, if you're going to build a, a great star system, first you need to see what happens when you throw this at the Earth. All right. Um, we're going to launch. What? Didn't save it. It didn't save it. Oh, that's because I'm looking at the wrong one. <laughs> okay. The Earth is actually fine. And there, there goes the atmosphere, and it's like heating way up. But you got to remember. Oh, it's a nice world. Okay. I turned this into Fenris. Um... Let's go with uh, 45 for now. Just like hold the temperature. Look at that. Look, you could live on this continent for like a day and then it'd be ice. Just nothing but ice. I don't think there's any more. I don't know what's like lighting up the one side since there aren't like any stars out here. Oh, yeah. Look at, oh my goodness, look how beautiful that is. That is gorgeous. That is amazing. It's just like, I don't know how to describe it. That's actually beautiful graphics. Look at how amazing that is. Right at the center is everything destroyed. I can imagine if this were to happen in the middle solar system, that would be the end of the solar system. Because the sheer power from a freaking supernova is just insane. Look at this, though. Wow. I didn't even know I would make that. Like, I've seen the pretty supernovas before, but they've all kind of followed a standard template. This, this is really cool. 
Wow. Wow, okay. I'm gonna have to try to recreate that in the future. Anyways, so, and that is all for today. I will leave you on this note. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you already haven't done so. I know you're not all going to subscribe, but it would really be nice. It would help me out a lot if you would all consider subscribing. Turning on that notifications bell so you can get notified every time I make a video, which is going to be a lot more this week than usual. And if you haven't done so already, please go like and follow my Facebook page. The link will be down in the description below. It'll be If you're looking on the screen, it'll be... There's your screen, and then it'll be down here. Make sure you hit see more, and then hit, click that link, and we will post news and updates and status about the uh, about the channel, about whatever I'm doing, about deals that we've got going on with the channel. So, yes, everybody have a nice day.